There you have it. Pakistan have won the toss and they will bat first. Here we go. Oh. Immediately off the mark. Oh, if he hits his thumb, be out, he misses. Both of them were standing in the middle. The wicketkeeper had ample time to aim and just take an extra second maybe to hit the stumps and miss it completely. Goes down the wicket, top edge. It flies over mid-off. It'll fall safely. And Zaman will pick up a couple. A little bit of shape, but it's through the covers. Beautifully placed. It's a long boundary. It's over 70 metres and it'll get there. First boundary tonight. Stanlake now with his first over. Goes for it and gets an edge on it. And picks up four. Short. And he'll take on the man in the square and they'll get it. A boundary for Pakistan. And uh, the timing was good. Picked the gap nicely. Although the square leg fielder was on the boundary, he had no chance to stop that. It was timed so beautifully. Yeah, you've got to be very precise with your length. Gives himself room and misses. There's a shout. Well, oh, Coulter Niles, very, very confident. And so is Alex Carey. Aaron Finch, they could go upstairs if they want to. Alex Carey saying, I reckon he hit it. Left to make the decision quickly. Yes, there we go. So going upstairs for a call behind is what the Australians are thinking. Mm, can't hear anything. I think the ultra edge will tell us a better. Ooh, what's that? That is an edge. That's a good decision taken by the captain. Well, Alex Carey, the keeper, was very confident straight away. So was Nathan coulton -Isle. It's very noisy out there for the umpire. Uh, the music is loud. So it looks like a fine edge. That's beautifully placed. What about that? That is a classy shot there from Baba. It's never easy. Beautifully played. The man in sublime form. Flicked away. No protection out there. A beautiful shot from Hafiz. A pitch here in Dubai, a touch slower, but what a control stroke. Didn't need to hit it hard. Just pivot on it. Here's the flick. The fine leg fielder was asked to come in. He's played the field. That's a brilliant piece of batting and thinking from Hafiz. And he's greeted with a lofty hit. That may just clear the man. It's a big six. First ball, pressure on the leg spinner. Smashed away, 81 meters. Took the fielder on at long off. Cleared it easily. Big shot. And he drops it. It's a difficult catch. Shortening the length. He's trying to get back yeah time to really see it they're trying to steady himself low catch should have been taken oh it's gone big has he gone enough chance it long on no good work from AJ Ty in the deep starts with a short run to poor delivery and well put away from Hafiz stayed back in the crease that boundary also brought 50 for Pakistan, uh, an off-cutter, especially with the fine leg up. There was every chance the ball will go to the boundary, just rolling the wrist on the ball. This partnership has been a strong one for Pakistan in the first game. Looks like they're doing it again. So, no, that could be a wicket. No, six. Pretty much exactly what the boys did in the first game and take wickets at the back end and really restrict the, the run scoring. What's the key to taking wickets at the back end in a T20 game, do you think? Dot balls are as good as wickets. Speaking of wickets, that could be one. Thanks, Mitchell, for your time, and uh, we'll take it back upstairs, boys. Yeah, he played quite nicely in the early stage of his inning. He, he controlled it nicely, but did it straight. Straight to the man who made no mistake. Big shot. Will he be taken? Yes, very good catch. Losing a couple of wickets quickly. That's what turned around in game one. 
Looked like a wrong in there from Adam Zampa. And it was there and it was in the slot. Um, Bubba's got to go. Good catch from Aaron Finch. 160 plus. Big shot. That's club for six. First glimpse of Arsevali in this T20 series. What a strike. The slower balls have been the ones that have been hard to hit, but this one back deep in the crease picks it up beautifully right out of the middle of the bat. It's a smash. This should be taken. Australians have fielded well. It was a slice. Darcy shot picks up a catch. He's disappointed because he's middling them okay. Gone. Well, you got to go for it. That's the thing with it. And you've only got four overs left and you've only got 117 on the board. It forces you to try and take every ball, but it's some good bowling and some good fielding from the Australians. Oh, that's gone fine. That's a good start. To Shreb Malik, that's slow ball that's hit over the infield. Oh, couple of runs. Mid off, takes the catch. Shreb Malik has been dismissed. I reckon that was a hard catch for Mitch Marsh. I think he didn't pick it up. He th I think he thought it was coming a lot faster. You watch his leg at the end, and he just got it in his hands. <laughs> Goes back straight away. Mid-off is running back. Mitch Marsh takes a wonderful catch. It's a tumbling effort. It's a great effort. It's a brilliant piece of feeling. It was off speed, but it was up. It was pitch. It was the shot. Just got it on the bottom of the bat. Hassan Ali, but have a look at this catch from Mitch Marsh going back. He would have been thinking about the rope. It bubbles up and grabs it in his left hand. It's a classic catch from Mitch Marsh. And the man who scored 17 in game one misses out tonight. 31 for six. Let's go over the infield for runs. Four of them. That's a very good start. It's poor delivery. With the fine leg up, it was a high bouncer. He didn't need to bowl that, Andrew Tight. His line has been wavered in the last over, the left and right hand, but have a look at this. Just too short. It would have been a wide nearly anyway. It would have gone way over his head. But he's paid the ultimate price there. On for four, so it's a good strike. They pro probably tried the knuckleball. Four of the first ball. Goes big away towards mid-wicket. Two. At least. Goes big. Hits a six. Hits a six. That's more like it. Now we're talking. Now to bring a smile to the captain. And what a time to do it as well. It was a change of pace. Fahim just held back, picked it up beautifully. Seam up. But he had his fingers spread on it. It was a slight change of pace, and that was enough. Yeah, beautifully balanced. Very good example of power hitting. Last ball of the innings. Can they get another big one here? Big shot. Oh, misses the ball going down the leg side. So Pakistan end the innings on 147. So Waka, do you think it's below par score or uh, Pakistan will be reasonably happy with their bowling attack? Finch off the mark straight away, could be tight. No, he manages to get through for a quick single, and he's off the mark. Well, that's good cricket from Aaron Finch. Definitely playing a lot straighter, the Australians. Oh, oh chance, was it? No, off the pad. That'll run away. Probably get to the boundary, too. That'll be four leg buys, I suggest. Oh! oh. Safras thinks there might be a chance, and the umpire will go upstairs to have a look. Well, he's out of his crease there, but does he get, firstly, a finger on it? Yes, definitely there, but it looks like Darcy Short. Is his bat in the air, or has he got it back down? It's going to be close. He's in the air. I think his bat's in the air there, Waka. He yes. could be in trouble. Yeah, very similar to what we've seen in the test matches. Yep, confirmation, there it is. Darcy Short's going to have to go. He can't believe it. Oh, Lynn goes big. Great connection. That's gone all the way for six into the second tier. What a stroke. Wonderful. Picked the length very early and went through with the stroke. 95 metres. 
Last ball, the over. Oh, it's a chance. Is it popped up in the air? And what a catch! Shut up, the man. He's a brilliant fielder. I was looking to push it on the onside, leading edge. Scooped it in the air, and look at Shadab leaping on it. Wonderful catch. You beauty. That's gone fine for four. Four leg buys, I think. Big shot. Catch it is the call. Will this be taken? It is. Fakhar Zaman is an excellent outfielder. Very, very slow start and just couldn't clear the fence. Right at the bottom of the bat. Finch trying to get a boundary. It's a good shot. A challenge for Hassan. He gets beaten. Into the deep and beautifully played. Ah! 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 is given. Bringing Mitchell Marsh onto the front foot. A faint edge. The ball spun sharply. And... Um, given by the umpire. Tarfraz was uh, up there shouting for it. Variations, the paces. We haven't seen a lot of variations from uh, from Pakistani paces as we see another one. Thanks, Ramiz. As I'm move, the bowling coach have done a fine job. Alex Kerry just trying to work that through the onside, a little leading edge. It's very similar to Chris Lynn, the right-hander, trying to work it through the leg side. Just gets enough on it. Four. Straight up in the air. Midoff's getting around. He's getting underneath it. And it is dropped. A good slower delivery. Maxwell wanted to hit big. Go for that six. But look at that. He's still moving. He's still moving. And uh, not really underneath the ball. So that's why he missed it. Could be out. Great bit of work, Pakistan, they have been on fire tonight in the field. That's well out, that's well out. I'm not sure why the on-field umpire has gone for that third umpire. That is big wicket. Once again, uh, Ben McDermott getting run out. Another quick single, direct hit, he's gone. Oh, what was that? Inside edge, did it carry? It was a noise. He's going upstairs, Safras. On the right of your picture, the, the ball's already gone. So that's, there's, you will not see the spike. It's definitely hit the stump. I'll be checking the bail. So just to confirm, not out, Safras can't believe it. Next. What about that six? Glenn Maxwell. Good contact. Just a touch short from shut up. Maxwell, he's got plenty of power. Australia need plenty more of those. Here is another one. Colton Isle getting into the act. Yeah, they need 14 and over. They've got 13 of the first four. Powerful sweep shot. I think it, it just met perfectly because it was a wrong run and so hit with the angle of the ball goes fine goes for four it's happening for Glenn Maxwell yeah he's quick I think he's looking for a Yorker Glenn Maxwell getting the outside edge beating the fielder in the deep take the pace off the ball as a Mahmood saying shot ball goes to Hafiz is rested. It's not happening for Pakistan in the last couple of overs. They've been just a little bit dodgy in the field regarding catching. It was a slow ball bouncer from Hassan Ali. Maxwell trying to swipe it over mid off and Hafiz puts down the chance off Maxwell. Maxwell's been dropped twice now. That's gone lightning fast across the turf. That's a sweet hit. It's six. It's gone all the way. Let's have a look again. In the slot, Maxwell down the ground. He knew. Will he go again? He's got to go again. He picks up a single. That's his 50. Lucky, but brilliant. 50 from 33 balls. It's given a bit of lift and hope. 
Makes room, slashes it. Oh, that's a very good try. I think it's Shadab diving full length. Thanks for the shorter of length, so Maxwell can't hit the ball down the ground. Shut up. Oh, what a great effort. Slow ball, gets the treatment. That's gone. Coulton, oh, good picky spot. This could be going down to the wire, Ramiz. Absolutely, yeah. We want a good contest here. Australia need 24 now. Shine Shafridi. Here we go then. Last six balls off the contest. That's a scar. It's a six. It's a big one. What a start. It's gone out of here. Have a look at this power strike, just clearing the front line and boom! It almost went to the moon. Wow! 106 meters in distance and about two miles high. Oh, that's gone up in the air. Who's calling for it? Who's calling for it? Long on! Takes the catch! It's Shaib Malik who called for it! Good innings from Glenn Maxwell. Comes to an end. Again, it was the off-pace delivery. Maxwell threw the swing too early. He knew he hadn't got enough on it. And Shoal Malik, steady, calm, collected the catch. It's a hit. Deep cover, takes the catch. Asif Ali takes the catch. The thrust is absolutely pumped up. In the end, it was good bowling. Yeah, he made pretty good contact with this one too, Coulton Isle. But comfortably taken in the deep. Extremely special, here we go then, last ball. Just the formality, nothing more than that, that's put away into the gap. And Pakistan win the contest, win the series, the 10th in a row. That's a remarkable record. They are the best side in the world in T20 internationals and they showcase the talent in no uncertain terms tonight. And for his wonderful bowling performance, one for eight in four overs, Imad Basim does it again. He is the Tuck Man of the Match award winner. May I invite him to please come forward and uh, receive the award from Mr. Zaid Abbas.